Hello everyone, it's Sally Eslin from Self Empowered Lifestyles. How's your day, evening, whatever time it is? How's it all been going for you? If you're just getting up or you're just going to bed. <laughs> I don't know. Here we are just doing another card reading. I just never know what time of the day I'm going to be doing it. So um, yeah, what do I need to know today? Please show me the way. Once again, we're gaining some clarity, insight and direction about where we're going in in life. You might be at crossroads, like you're going, mm, which, which path shall I take? Or just sometimes it validates what you're thinking inside. We're just getting some intuitive guidance. So tapping into your intuition, into your subconscious, finding some deeper answers there because inside the answers lie within you. They're not outside of you. They're all within you. So let's just see what uncovers today. Let's start with the inspiration deck, just shuffling away. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It is, whoa, so cold here in Melbourne. It is so cold. It's ridiculous. So cold that the card just fell out. So it says, it is time to take up a positive space in your own life. Oh, absolutely. So we're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time. So like, let's create some space in it. So um, it has positivity and gratitude and just has a good vibe because we're here to live a high vibe life. And when you're high vibing, you've got to have space for all that you know, the high vibe living, right? Because we can get caught up so much in the rat race and the autopilot of just day in day out just going to work and whatever and Monday Friday and then the weekends like boring 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 we're supposed to be having some fun some playfulness in our days right so let's create some positive space in your own life to have some fun some playfulness and to be high vibing in your life um yeah so I don't know where where is it uh that you could make some space in your own life to have some fun some have some playfulness to have some balance and to have some you time connecting out with nature or whatever I'm non-negotiable. It's walking in nature an hour and a half every day, listening to empowering um, podcasts or books or like today I caught up with a girlfriend and we just, you know, haven't seen her for ages and just, you know, doing some connecting with like-minded people because once rem once again, remember, Jim Rowan said, I think it was Jim Rowan, you become the five people you hang around. So just be mindful of who you hang around and where you're choosing to be and to go. Alrighty, the next deck we're shuffling is the Diamonds Within deck. Two cards have literally just fallen out into my hands. Alrighty, two. I'm having a double yoke as a couple of times this week. This one says, I am rich beyond my wildest dreams. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, well, it started off with positive space in your own life. And when we have positive space, we have gratitude, right? So when we are grateful, it, the universe goes, yes, it's like manners, like in, in human terms. But saying gratitude is just per, uh, fantastic manners for the universe. So it says, I'm rich beyond my wildest dreams. Because, you know, you can materialize whatever you choose. You are the master creator of your life and you can manifest and materialize whatever you want. It's all about getting the signal that's clear and sending it out to the universe. So if you've got a, a static signal going out, well, that's what you're going to get back is messy and staticky. But if you have a very clear signal saying, this is what I'm choosing to create into my life, this is what I'm choosing to manifest and materialize, my gosh, it just comes to you. And that's not just about money stuff. It's <laughs> Sorry, it's the dog. Poppy, shush. That's about, um, she puts me off. Yeah, just choosing whatever it is you want in life. It doesn't have to be about money. It can be about your health. It can be about relationships. It can be about your career and work, whatever it is. But we have richness all around us. And when we realize that we are abundant already, and then that helps us put things into perspective and helps us sit with more positivity and gratitude for what we already have. My gosh, it's been a week with this dog and she doesn't stop barking. So it's just driving me nuts. Any dog lovers out there? Like I love dogs, I do. But gosh, that does my head in. Gosh. All righty. I am rich beyond my wildest dreams. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because visualize it, feel it. And really, when you fully embody what it is that you're choosing to bring in, so it's rather than just writing it down, that's important, that's manifesting and whatever. But when you have a full embodiment of what you're choosing, that's aligning your frequency, your vibration, and your energy. That's just tuning yourself into your personal radio station, getting it without the static, just finally tuned in allowing that to that signal to resonate really clearly out to the universe and then it's just going to happen to you. So sit back and just choose the what, allow the how to happen. I say that all the time. Okie dokie, next card says, I am open to delightful surprises that will enrich my life. Oh, my gosh, this is a year beyond our wildest dreams if we choose to trust, believe and allow and unlimited opportunities and possibilities will come for us when we just sit there and just have that positive mindset. I'm open to delightful surprises that will enrich my life. Call it in, right? The universe is sitting there saying, hey, what do you want? You got to send your signal out there and just be 
be open because, as I said before, choose the what and allow the how to happen. Whatever you choose, it, it, you never know how it's going to appear. You, you never know when or how it's going to happen. It's always magical and mysterious. So just you know, be open to amazing stuff to happen into your life. All righty, next one is Bling Boost. I'm just about dropping it. It rattles me when dogs bark like that. It's like, why? Oh, man, it has my head in. All righty, Bling Boost. Shuffling that around. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Can you imagine the nervous system dogs that go ee all the time? Yappy, yappy. They must be highly strung. <laughs> they, need a, they need a bar session or they need to take a chill pill or get some rescue remedy or something. Just come on the farm. <laughs> I don't need my uh, my nervous system rattled any further. Bling boost. Here we go. Let's have a look what this card says. You can invite something new into your life. This is a time of unlimited opportunities and possibilities, a year beyond our wildest dreams. You have to step up so that you are getting in the right, as I said, you know, tuning yourself into the radio station where you are completely embodying your frequency, your vibration, and your energy. And you are the master creators of your life. If you could only see my leggings that I have created, it's the creation range and it's about you moving forward in life and utilising three key elements to be the master creator and that is the flower of life sacred geometry going from wave to particle dna and the egyptian six elements going from the void through all the creation cycle into actually you know manifesting and materializing into and grounding into the earth with what you're choosing so you can invite something new into your life you absolutely can that might be a new experience it might be a job it might be a partner it might be i don't know whatever but something new into your life whatever it is that you're choosing now I'm going to finish on the love deck. Woohoo! See what comes up here. So this is always, oops, gosh, the cards just literally fell out. They're screaming at me today to come and take me, take me. There's messages here to be had. This is what the cards are all about. They're just, uh, this is intuitive card readings. And they're jumping out at me today. And once again, there's two cards that just literally fell out. The first one, now you've got to answer it with the first thing that comes into your head. I am willing to. I am willing to do what? I am willing to be open-minded. I'm willing to get out of my head and just trust the energy within me. I'm willing to let go with my other mantra, let go, step up and be more. So the, the two that you really got to follow, trust, believe and allow and let go, step up and be more. And that's just be more of your authentic self because that's what people are drawn to, Not nothing fake, just being you. The essence of you is your superpower and that's what people are drawn to. So I'm willing to be more of me. Let's just take that one. I'm willing to be more of me, not do more, just be more of me. And the final part here says, the truth about changing is, oh, this has been a bit of a theme this week. The truth about changing is it's not easy right? But you have to do things differently for change to happen. So nothing changes if nothing changes and get comfortable with being uncomfortable because that's where change occurs. It's been a bit of a theme the past few days and some of the podcasts have been on. And so, yeah, the truth about changing is it, it's not easy sometimes. It's just you have to do things differently. So, you know, being willing to be more of you, allowing the change to happen. Let's just do a quick recap. It's time to take up a positive space in your own life. So, you know, do more of what brings you joy. Joy is the journey of yours. It's an acronym. You know, what makes your soul sing? Where does your passion lie? Do more of that and create space for that in your life. It's all about you're in the driver's seat. So create the time and the energy to go into doing positive things. But, but uh, you know, and step into the gratitude that I'm so grateful I, I am able to bring this into my life. Next one is I'm rich beyond my wildest dreams. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes putting out the manners there, but just choosing to be the master creator and calling it in whatever you want, you're choosing to call in. I'm open to delightful surprises that will enrich my life. This is a year beyond your wildest dreams if you're choosing to do the work to trust, believe and allow, to let go, step up and be more and of unlimited opportunities and unlimited potential. Whenever you're choosing what it, whatever it is, always put in inverted commas underneath. This or something better because you're limited by your imagination, right? And the universe usually has bigger things in store for you, but you just have to be allowing yourself these unlimited opportunities and unlimited possibilities. So next one is you can invite something new into your life. You know, this is where change occurs because when we're doing things differently, that's when new things happen and come into our lives and we have to do things differently. I'm willing to what? I'm willing to be more of my authentic, genuine self fantastic and the truth about changing is the truth about changing is 
it's it's not an easy ride a lot of the time because you have to do things differently and you have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. And uh, so that I hopefully gave you a little bit of an insight about time to step up and do more of what brings you joy, what what uh, makes your soul sing, what you're passionate about. Allow yourself to dream big and then dream bigger. Be open to unlimited opportunities and possibilities. Invite new new change into your life. Just be more of your authentic self and just realise that, you know, it's riding the wave of life, you know, with the highs and lows, but stick to the light and you'll be right. And with that, I'll catch you later, guys. See you later. Bye.